guys, so as I promised, I'm going to be doing a casting 101 video. So basically, I'm just going to explain the basics of how model casting is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say every single casting is different. This video isn't going to be the key to scoring a job or I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly um, what it's going to be like because honestly, every casting is different. I've never been to a casting where it's exactly the same. It all depends really who you're going to see. So um, this video is just basically going to cover the basics and what to kind of expect at a casting, what you should bring, what you should wear. So when you're going to a casting, you never really know how many people are going to be there. It could be 50 girls to like 600 girls. It could be a huge line and you could wait there for like three hours before you get to see the client. Trust me, I've been there. I've been to probably over 100 castings in my lifetime so far and some castings can be extremely long, but some can go by really fast. If you're lucky, you'll be able to just go ahead and see the client as soon as you get there because it'll be just like an in and out type of thing, but sometimes, especially for like runway castings, it could take forever because they like to have the girls walk, they like to take pictures, take measurements, so that could take a really long time. So if you're going, make sure you have like a friend with you or like a book or an iPad or something. Just always make sure you have something because you never know what it's going to be like. So far with my experience from Fashion Week, when I I went to my first casting there was a ton of people so they set up a clipboard and people would have to sign in their names and then they would just go in that order and sometimes models would come early to sign in for their friends so that when their friends would be running from another casting to another casting and then going to that casting um, they would not have to like wait at the very end of the line so that's kind of a little trade secret models have between each other. So to castings these are the staples to what I bring so firstly I bring my portfolio Normally I actually use my iPad now because a lot of models like to use that now, but some like to use black books, sometimes your agency will provide you with one. So I just have like my pictures. This is actually really, I haven't used this in a while. Most of them I actually just go with my iPad and I'll, I have this portfolio app that is really cool. And what's cool about this is that you don't have to carry around like a huge bag with heavy stuff because you're already going to have to bring probably like shoes or something like that. Um, but yeah, I just really like this and it's super easy for them just to flick through. Um, it is called, hold on, it is called iPort. You always, always, always have to bring your comp card with you to a casting. Always bring one because they are not going to remember you. So this is what a comp card looks like. It's just basically a card with a picture on the front and then a few more on the back. Um, this is actually from when I was 11, so it's not updated, and I wanted to find an updated one to show you guys, but I can't find it anywhere. I think I'm out of it. But yeah, this is baby me when I was 11. Also, make sure you bring a simple bikini with you because sometimes they'll want to take digitals of you in a swimsuit, or sometimes they'll just take it of you in your outfit. Again, it really depends on what kind of show it's for. If it's for a runway casting, if they like you, usually they'll take you in the back and have you try on some clothes from their collection to see if they like how the collection looks on you. Again, you never know until you book a show until literally like the day of or the day before. Even if you have a fitting, you still don't know if you're gonna have the show because I remember when I did Fashion Week, I had friends that would go to fittings and they'd be ready and then about an hour before the show started, they would call them and be like, you're cut from the show. So that's kind of stressful about Fashion Week when there's like so many last minute changes and last minute calls, so that's why when you're modeling you have to be on top of everything. You have to be on top with your agents and your emails and just be prepared for anything. You could be canceled last minute, you could be set up for a show last minute. So back to the runway castings, um, you walk in and then you like give them your book and your comp card and then they like look through your stuff and they usually tell you to walk one to two times. Um, and then it's pretty much done like that, depending on who it is again. And as for castings for print work, um, it's basically the exact same thing except for you just don't have to walk for them. You basically just give them your comp card and portfolio. Um, you just engage with the clients and try to show your personality because personality is super important in the industry. So when you go to castings, you have to get really thick skin and brace yourself for all sorts of rejection. Um, Sometimes you could get no response from them. You could give them your book and then they won't say anything. Or sometimes you could walk for them and then they'd be like, oh great, I'd love to have you in the show. I'll call your agent and then you never hear from them. So it's just kind of weird like that. You have to be really prepared for any type of response. But it's nothing personal. It's just a job and you have to see if you fit their look. So just don't take it personally. You just have to prepare for anything. So if you're worried about how to get to casting to casting, your agents will usually give you a rundown of all the castings you have throughout the day. Sometimes they'll throw in random castings here and there that you have to like run to in between. So it's a very, very active job 
to do, especially around Fashion Week. I mean, print jobs, it's not as bad, but for Fashion Week, you have to go back to back to back because all the castings take place like one week before Fashion Week. So all the designers and clients are like cramming into one week and trying to get as many models and trying to see as many people as they can for their show. So that can be kind of stressful. So you definitely have to make sure you're very organized for Fashion Week. Um, your agents will again give you a rundown of what you have to do, usually like the night before or like the early morning. So you have a little bit of time to schedule out everything, to map everything out and to make a schedule of where to go. Oh, as for hair and makeup, Definitely keep your hair in its natural state. Some people like it down. Um, you could put it in a ponytail too. Either way works. They just want to see your face. And for makeup, no makeup. If you have like a pimple you need to cover, then go ahead and cover that. But definitely stay away from makeup because you already have your book. So the client's going to see how you look with makeup on. So simply put, they just want to see you as a blank canvas. You don't have to doll up or anything. You just basically just go in as yourself. Okay, so for Fashion Week, at a casting, if you get the job, that's great. Um, you're one step closer to being in the show, <laughs> um, you go to the fitting and the things are usually maybe the day of or it could be the next day. At fittings you basically just try on pieces of their collection and then the designer will see what they like best on you and then they'll usually take Polaroids or digitals of you um, against the wall or something so that they have the show lineup. Also you've got to be very careful at fittings because I've been to like one or two fittings where it was like the second round of castings and then they cut a bunch of girls that were um, in their clothes once they saw everyone in the collection they'll be like okay i like you 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 and not you and not you and they would like cut girls out you've just got to go in and play it by the ear um so just try and make it fun try not to get too stressed if someone doesn't like you or if you don't get a response right away um people are super last minute in this industry so just don't get too worried about it so what you wear should depend on what kind of casting it's for if it's a runway casting you're definitely going to want to wear an outfit that shows off your body because the client wants to see how you look um, um, so I would just recommend like a t-shirt, um, like a tank top or something, something form-fitting, or a loose shirt and then tight leggings or skinny jeans. And of course, wear heels. Always bring heels to your casting. Okay, so I think that's about it. That's all I can think of off the top of my head right now. Um, if you guys have any other like personal questions or anything that I didn't cover in this video, just go ahead and ask me on Tumblr. I'll leave the link in the bottom. Um, but yeah, so I hope this video was helpful to some of you who are curious about castings or wondering how it works or if you're a model and you want to know how a casting is. Hopefully this video helped you out and gave you some tips and gave you a little bit of an insider's look into the modeling world. Um, if you have any other modeling video requests, just ask me on Tumblr. That's where you get all of my requests from. So I will see you guys in the next video.